Okay, so now that we've talked about optimization a bit, and I'm sure you've experimented to your wild enjoyment, uh, let's talk about some frivolous things that we can add to our levels just to uh, cause them to run a little slower and look a little prettier. Um, first two that we'll talk about, overlays, decals. Overlays and decals are very similar. Um, let's start with decals. Decals you can place by simply clicking the decal tool within the 3D view uh, onto any surface that you'd like. That's not true. Onto many surfaces that you'd like. Grab it. Alt Enter brings up the dialog, of course. Uh, we can choose a texture. So you can name your decal, go to the texture key value, hit browse. And by default, you're in the decals folder um, of whatever game that you're playing. So uh, we come down, come down our list. We have a lot of bullet holes. Uh, a lot of different bloods and flesh uh, options here. Papers and stuff tacked up to the wall. That's kind of cool. Uh, ripped paper, more and more blood. Um, some good decals, too. If you're using these these textures, um, these wall textures, but they just look really boring, um, here's some decals you can add that make it look like, you know, plaster's falling off or they're water-stained or uh, fallen down or broken or burned or whatnot. There's also... Posters, little placards, um, you can add a lot of different stuff. It is definitely possible to create your own decals and your own overlays when we talk about them. Some cool graffiti and stuff like that. Actually, some good stuff. Let's see, what else we got? Yeah, grates, different, uh, you know, you want to have a grate. You don't want to actually model all this stuff um, or use brushes. So you have a lot and lot of different decals you can add. Uh, I've actually put a couple Noesis decals on the disc if you want to check them out and apply them around your levels. Let's try adding some graffiti onto our wall. So we'll just double click that guy, hit apply. Check out where it is in our 3D view here. Let me just scoot it out. Yeah, there we go. Put it right on top of our wall. And it actually is going to project this image. So it will kind of place it. It'll just, whoops. It'll place it um, along that object. So we could actually put a decal somewhere like here. Let's put a decal using the decal tool on one of our turrets. Bring up its properties. We could get another texture or another graffiti if we want. Um, the cars are kind of cool. Apply that. Control E to zoom in a little bit and we use our this is the one we're looking for. Select it, control E, there we go. And bring it out. You can see how it's trying to apply it. It's kind of all over the place. This might be just a little too complicated of a shape for it. We could try putting it on our wall behind our ladder. Let's put it back on our big wall over here to see if everything's working out. You know, I think if we just didn't grab it didn't grab an image or something, it just looks blank. Blend measure. Yeah, how did we do that? <laughs> That's not right. We don't want blend measure. We wanted our cars. There we go. Apply. There they go. All right, I'm not freaking out. This should work. Um, and let's pull these guys back. See how it starts splitting the different areas of the uh, decal on different areas of your models. And you can kind of adjust how that's being displayed by moving it around. So this, this thing still might actually be a little too complicated, but we could throw it, look kind of cool, uh, dividing up behind our ladder. So we just throw a decal behind our ladder. We got these cars. <laughs> might not really fit in the rest of the motif, but kind of cool. Oh, that's what happened. We changed our car up there. I'm sure you noticed that while well, I didn't. Let's get our guy back, apply him. There we go. Okay. Uh, so decals. The other things to know about decals, you can't scale your decals. But like I said, they do project, so it's kind of cool. You can put them on multiple surfaces. Like if you had a set of stairs or something, you could project them kind of down the stairs so they'd uh, appear on the stairs. Uh, you cannot place decals on displacements, however, and they can't be scaled. So that's where um, overlays come in. Overlays can be scaled. They can be put on displacements. Uh, the only thing that uh, basically decals can do that they can't do is overlays cannot be created in-game. So you can actually assign decals to be... Um, you know, shot out of a gun, so instead of bullet holes, you get, you know, blood spots on the wall, or you get little, you know, arrows or something, whatever you want. Overlays cannot be, so let's just take a quick look at applying some overlays to our levels. Let's put an overlay on one of our displacements up inside one of the rooms here. So we had kind of this, this random displacement 
behind the uh, sandbag. Use our overlay tool. Click on that displacement. You see how it's projecting it over it. Kind of get that nice uh, green view showing you what's going on. Center it up in our area there, whatever you'd like. You can resize it so we could bring it out. Um, make it larger or smaller. Get full scale controls. Alt Enter, bring up its options. You see it has a lot more options. Uh, the main one, of course, is material, the first one. And we gotta get off this blend texture here. We wanna go down to something like um, one of our placards or something. Uh, and you see we're in that same decals folder. Again, we're placing the same type of uh, images, the same images from the same folder, but we're placing them differently. Uh, axis, it's kinda cool, little combines. Some of these letters are kinda cool. Make sure I actually apply those. There we go. Get off of there. Kind of see, oh, my texture's freaking out. You see that we have it applied on there. We got the letters scrolling across. Um, and our texture's making it kind of tricky to see here. Freaking out, but uh, if I just change the displacement texture really quick, you should be able to get a feel for what's going on here. Let's just quickly go to one of our dev textures. There you can see that our letters have been scaled up quite a lot. We probably want to shrink that down a bit. There you go. Get the right proportions. But we got kind of our numbers sprayed across this area here. And really useful because we can actually scale them there. So uh, we can put that there. We can go back to our debris texture. But you can have a lot of fun actually placing overlays all throughout your level. Overlays are actually free. They're not, uh, they're not really going to affect too much because once you get them in the, through the compile process, they're not um, decreasing your performance in the game. Uh, a lot of decals, um, if you're applying decals on the go, can. But uh, decals generally also not too big of a deal. So you go ahead, place some graffiti, some blood spots, just grunge up your level. Select this guy. Tweaking out our whole level here because we got a concrete floor selected. So it's trying to apply the concrete floor as a decal, which doesn't really work too well. Just go ahead and add, well, posters. Here we go. Add some posters. Apply. We'll move our decal to be off of our crazy object here onto our straight wall. somewhere up above. There we go. Excellent. Yeah. Some stuff kind of posted up on the walls. Just different uh, details that really, um, if well placed, make your level look a lot cooler.